Now we're going to talk about some different track offerings that we have available at Max. Uh, one of our flagship products for the last 26 years is the Versatile Track, the aluminum machine track. Open C channel design, offers adjustments on one inch increments throughout the length of the track, and four different profiles linked up to 16 feet in that. You might recognize the very popular horizontal and vertical E track as well. Uh, I'm not a fan of E-Track on the floor, although we sell miles and miles of it every year. The reason I don't like it is it's weaker than our Versatile Track, the adjustments are half as much, and because it's a stamped product, it's much more difficult to keep clean versus the open center channel design of the Versatile Track. So if your loads vary, if you're always hauling different things and can benefit from adjustability, a track-based system is a great way to go. One of the things I'd like to point out here is the difference between horizontal E-Track and vertical E-Track. Vertical is the answer, although we rarely see it. The reason that is several things. It's three inches wide versus five, so it's a lot cleaner application for the floor. But more importantly, it allows the fittings to articulate and lay down like they should. For instance, if I take this fitting, which is an E-Track idler, and I designed that where it would couple straight to the ratchet. The only way that works for horizontal E-Track is if the ratchet is going to be standing relatively straight up and down. However, if we have an application that requires that ratchet to lay over, you can see all it's doing is attempting to bend the track right there. Now, if I take that same piece and lock it into the vertical E-Track, Notice how it lays down nicely. Same goes with the idler fittings and E-Track fittings bolted or attached elsewhere in the track. This is our E-Track idler. It's a very helpful piece to transition the webbing horizontally so that you're not attempting to operate a ratchet handle up under the front of the car. Two and a half inches tall allows that webbing to transition nicely and clear just about anything. Uh, quite often on the back side of the tire, we will stitch an idler, not to be used as an idler, but rather the, the link behind the tire as well.